Here for part two of Garage Physio, and I'm back this week with Millen, and we're working on his knee. Now, as promised, I was going to show you the exercise that we're doing for him. Now, remember, he's got the lateral meniscal tear, and you can actually see it here. You can see that little bit of swelling going on here. We've been working on it. We're getting it looser again. But today is about getting the right exercise for him at this stage that he can do to get the quads going, his hammies, his glutes, without loading it too much because he's working all day, he comes home, he doesn't want to then go and load it, especially with the lateral meniscal tear. You don't want to go and pressurize it, but we've got to get his quads going. We've got to get him better, got to get him activated so he can get better during the week. Um, and that's tricky, so I'm going to show you what to do and how we're going to modify a few things around the garage, around the home, to enable to do that. So first thing he's been working on is getting this power band that I've kindly loaned him for the entire time. Um, now this one is really good. Again, if you're in a garage, of course this is a workbench, very sturdy, right? So he can put it around there. You jump into there, Millen. Show him what you're doing. Now this is your classic total knee extension, okay? Brilliant for quads. Brilliant for him at this stage of, the, of his injury because he doesn't have to actually load it, okay? He can just work on knee extension, which he has trouble with, all right? So when he does his knee extension there, okay, he's got to squeeze the heck out of that quad to try and get his tone up, a good 10 seconds, and then slowly release. Okay. So this is brilliant for someone who has trouble with the end range extension. So getting that joint to actually close, which is really hard for him because as you notice, when we did it on the bed, I couldn't push it down. So this enables him to actually get it closed physically and get his muscles actually doing the work rather than me pushing on it. And if he can do that every single day of the week, um, that he'll get way better results than me just doing it once a week. Okay, so that's a really important one for him. Keeps his quads going and he's been doing that all week, which is helpful. Now, so the three new exercises that I'm going to introduce today are a step down using a bench for a deload. We usually use a bar in the gym. We're going to use a workbench. We're going to get him doing some leg extension and some single leg deadlift. So all easy stuff, but something you can do with a bit of resistance instead of weight load. So the one where you're going to do a step down is this. So if you come up here, Mullen, we've been showing him doing this one. This is your classic single leg squat step down. Now, he can't do a single leg squat by himself. It hurts too much, okay? It's too much load. So what I've got him doing, using his workbench, that he can now go and do his single leg squat, right? He can do a single leg squat. He can go back into a step down lunge position, but he's taking weight through here, okay? So he's taking weight out of his knee, putting it into the workbench, which means he can go through normal knee range. I need that knee going forward into good knee range, and I'm trying to do this single leg squat so he gets used to that better movement. And then as he improves his strength, the swelling goes down, hopefully, the pain reduces. He can put less load through here and he will sort of graduate to a normal single leg squat step down position, okay? So that's gonna be really, really helpful for him, help him with his control. Again, it's hammies and glutes as well, all right? So that's a great one. All right, so the third one is a single leg deadlift. Now, I like using this, and we're gonna reuse his power band. It's strong, but he's okay, because remember, we're not bending the knee fully down, okay? With a single leg deadlift, you're hardly bending the knee, you're actually hinging back on the knee, so it's more about the hamstrings and the glute, and I need his glute and hamstrings working to help out his knee, it's not all about the quads. The good thing about this one is he also has to work on his knee control, his stability, and his stability is not great, so we're going to try and get this a bit better. So when he goes down into a deadlift, so you show me for me, Milan, He's going to try and swing that leg back. You see that stability he's got going on there? And he wants to be in his knee to try and gain some stability. So we've got to stop that happening. So go again for me. This knee is not allowed to come forward. He's got a hinge back like he's picking up a golf ball out of a golf hole. And he's got to keep his arms straight. Where you go again. So arms straight. Down you go. The band actually lessens as he goes down. Arms straight, arms straight, arms straight. Yeah. Good. And comes back up. So he's got a bit of work to do on that. And if he can get all the way down, hinge down, left leg back, arms straight, work on that hammy and glute pulling him up, and he'll get better at that, then he's going to improve the whole posterior chain of that leg, which is going to help him with his knee pain, especially the patellofemoral pain. Um, 
And that control work he has to work on because with a meniscal problem, you're going to lose some stability and that could put him at further risk of injury on the work site. So really important one for him to do. Um, this one is his last one because his leg extension was the hardest one for us to do. And so we've used it to go last so he's warmed up so it's less painful. Now, you can do this at home with any sort of chair. We're using my treatment table for the moment and we just found this old band in his garage which was lucky um, and it has two loops. So I'm gonna put that around the back leg, okay, into here and then he's gonna sit on here Jump on there, Mum. And he's going to do banded leg extensions. This is like the one you do in the gym. This is like using a leg extension machine. Now, the trick is wrap it around the toe so it doesn't ping off. Now, for him, if you watch, let's just see what his face looks like when he does it by himself. So don't use that one. Just pull it up. And then try and come down. Yeah, he doesn't really like that, okay? That's not giving him lateral pain here, that's giving him a bit of patellofemoral pain, so we've got to cut that out. So, we do it eccentrically, we load it up, so he pushes with his left to get it straight, he's got to squeeze his quad. Now, the trick is, it takes a little bit of load out of this one on the way down. Yeah, so he's pain free on the way down, okay? Crucial that we get this movement pain free, so we get really good quads activation. If there's pain, it's going to shut off. So he takes enough load through the left to help his right. So he's still doing sort of more load on the way down than he did what they would do with the full load. He's just taking a little bit of load off as he comes down. Now, again, this is going to graduate. When he gets stronger, when he has less pain, when he's warmed up, this one, he'll take this one fully away. He'll just go straight down with that one and do a full eccentric load with the band. Now, to make this easier, I mean, we've just used a gray band. This is pretty full on, that one. You could probably use a lighter one, and then you might not need to lift with this. But if it's all you've got is a heavy, help it with the other side, and then you can lighten the band. Pretty easy, right? So that's the four. See you next time.